Zachary Bigley, Pastor Allen and April Bailey, Happy Pastors Appreciation Day. Today's the day the Lord has made, so He had you in mind on this very day. So, you're appreciated. Pastor Allen, you've helped me personally. Thank you. The gathering has helped Zachary Bigley Ministries. Thank you. God bless you guys. Remember, God loves you. Keep on keeping on, and expect something good to happen to you today. God bless you guys, and have a great, great, great Pastor's Appreciation Day. From Zachary, Rachel, and Olivia, and on behalf of Zachary Bigley Ministries, God bless you guys. Bye. Hi everyone, Chris Owens be here and I wanted to take just a couple of moments to wish a very happy Pastors Appreciation Weekend and Day to Pastors Allen and April. We just celebrate you. We're so grateful for the things that God is doing in your life and has done through pioneering the work there at the gathering. I know what it's like to do that at Way of Life here in Grenada. And so I, I appreciate the sacrifice and the commitment. One of my friends said of me one time, he, in one of our pastor appreciation phrases, he said, if you love the master, be good to your pastor. And the realities are you can't do enough good, can't do too much to honor your great leaders. I love you. Have an amazing weekend. God bless you. And here's to a whole lot more success in the kingdom. Hey, Pastor Alvin and April. Uh, we just want to say... Uh, Happy Appreciation Day to you. Uh, you've been faithful in the Lord, and uh, you've certainly been a blessing to this ministry. And uh, on behalf of Caneland, I just want to say how much we love you, and thank you for coming down all these years and speaking to our guys and, and having us up at your church and, and feeding us and being so good to us. And uh, right now, we just want to say to you Happy Appreciation Day from all the guys. Caneland, I appreciate you! The Pastor Appreciation Day, Pastors Allen and April Bailey, uh, all of Canaan land loves you guys. I love you guys. I love your whole family, except for the Auburn thing, uh, which we just choose to overlook, because uh, love covers a multitude of sins. That's what that's what it's all about. Listen, your faithfulness to the kingdom uh, is awesome. What you do for Canaan land and the rest of the guys and in, in the community of Jasper, Alabama is awesome i know that when god looks down upon you and your family he smiles because he loves you once again happy pastor appreciation day hope you have a blessed one hi april and alan i hope you're having a terrific pastor's appreciation day sorry i couldn't be there with you but i wanted to send this quick video letting you know how much i love and appreciate you guys i'm thankful for our relationship i'm very very thankful for how the lord continues to use you there in alabama as you continue to grow the church that he has entrusted to you all. I hope today's everything you hoped it would be. I know that the people there love you. They're supporting you. And I just want you to know that as we grow together in faith, we'll have more and more time together. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll see you. Hi, Alan. Hi, April. This is uh, Tracy Armstrong from Citadel Church here in Seattle. Love you guys so much. and so appreciate you. And I know that the church body there loves you. Uh, they are blessed with you. And I just uh, wanted to also send you an appreciation, how much I appreciate your friendship, how much I appreciate your loyalty, your faith in God, your commitment to the kingdom of God. We love you so much. My wife and I and family and, and church can't wait to meet you. I talk about you often. All over the world, I share your story, your story as a family and your story as an individual. Uh, and I just know God has great things for you. I want you to continue to swing for the benches. Go for your best and believe God has great things for you. I know he does. God put us together many years ago, and he did it so randomly. I know the favor of God is on your life. Uh, just a random text message coming in. Never, never, we never heard of each other, but somehow we got, <laughs> we got connected through technology. And so here I am sending another message on my phone. Bless you. Love you. Happy Pastors Appreciation Day. Hey there, Alan and April. Pastor Gary Hooper here. Pastor Appreciation Day at your church. Excellent. We sure appreciate you here. Again, thank you. You brought me a word two years ago when I was struggling and uh, just, uh, you know, picked me up and got me back on track, kept me focused. So I encourage you as a congregation and love this couple. you got a great pastor there, great pastors. And I encourage you to avoid the sin of, of uh, familiarity. Uh, it happens in marriage. It happens at a job site in it certainly happens in church, but as long as you recognize the office of the pastor uh, and you continue to receive from them, no matter how well you get to know them, uh, they'll lead you in the path of righteousness. So God bless you, and uh, again, happy pastor appreciation. 
Spencer Allen and April. Hey, it's Daniel Eric Groves here. Hey, I pulled off to the side of the road to make sure I got to jump in on this pastor appreciation video. Hey, I wanted to just thank you personally for fighting the fight, for running the race, for not giving up. Retreat is not in your vocabulary. You know, in a society when thousands of churches are closing their doors, you guys are staying with it. We're thankful for you. You're called, you're anointed, and you're some of the best. I can't wait to come worship with you guys very soon. Bask in the celebration of your lives today, and thank you for being you. Call you blessed. Hello there, Pastor Allen and April. Uh, just want to say uh, we appreciate you. We love you here, uh, Pastor Appreciation Month. Let me say something to you there, Gathering Ministries. You know, the Bible says to honor those to whom honor is due. The word honor means to esteem. So we want to esteem Pastor Allen and April today and thank you for all you do. You sincerely have a pastor's heart the time I've been around you and uh, that's what I appreciate about you. It's not just about a church and a building and preaching sermons. It's about helping others. Church family, I, I don't think you realize what you have and you missed. Now esteem them. Do something good for them and bless them and take care of them. Because the Bible says that they're shepherds and they watch over your soul. A lot of people esteem their doctors and a lot of people esteem their mechanics and their coaches and all that stuff because they watch over their car, their health, and their kids and stuff like that. But these people watch over your soul. I want you to know that we appreciate you, pastors, and uh, we love you. And uh, I'm telling you what, God's got great things in store for you all. And church, I want you just right now, just stand up at the end of this video and give them a big old hand clap and tell them how much you appreciate them and how much you love them and let them know how much they mean to you there at that church. God bless you. It was very exciting to get to do this. See you later. I just want you to know, I didn't come down here for an offering. I came down here because I believe in Alan and April Bailey. I, I found a man that I know that loves God and loves people. And he wants to do right by 
everybody. But he is the senior pastor. And if I was a member of this church, if he asked me to do something, whether I understood it or not, whether I agreed with it or not, I'd go, yes, sir. If he screws up, he's got to deal with God. I don't. I still get blessed because I, I did what he asked me to do. Now, if he asked me to go rob a Walmart or something, I'd probably go, uh, now I'll pass on that one. You don't have to do stuff, but I don't, I don't believe after knowing this couple all this time, I don't believe they're going to ask you to ever do something really, really bad like that. It might be do something to help build the church. Or, and, and listen, you guys need to be commended. You, you took this old building over, and look what's happening. Life is starting to come through with it. You wait till you get that children's church up and going. My word, and a place for teenagers, this place is awesome. And that belongs to God. Amen. Uh, I can't help it. I get excited. This is tremendous what you guys have accomplished. And you did it together. And, and if you if you hadn't sold anything toward the building, hey, it's never too late. You, you just call Pastor Al and say, hey, I got something in the mail. Or just bring it by and slap him in the palm with it. You know, some of them old Pentecostal handshakes. Hey, brother. Well, I didn't ever hear that until uh, <laughs> I started sowing seed. And people that I didn't even know would come up and shake my hand. And I'd look and it'd be a $100 bill. Hey, God will keep his word. It's just whether you will believe him. And if you don't, life's going to stay the same for you. Miserable and more miserable. But you start getting free and happy and start praising him and dancing around this altar and loving God. And don't care what people say. Nothing but growth. I, I, I do whatever was possible uh, because you're all doing it together. And I know whether you've been told or not, I know how much this couple loves you as a church, as a congregation. You let somebody say something bad about you, he, he'll be all over them. He ain't going to let nobody pick on you. And he's a great man of God. Why don't you two come on up here and this, uh, you got some oil somewhere? 30 way to work. Look at this. Boy, this man got some now. I, I, I just want to pray over these guys like Oral Roberts laid hands on me. I want to lay hands on them. He is my son in the faith, son and daughter. And uh, I want to dedicate this church to the Lord. And it's because of you and your heart, and I love you. There you go, boy. Yeah, if you'll just don't go nowhere with that all. Amen. Listo ba ke bodon shen likite ko somran de likite. Mel mel ko siki di on leke o satela ba kotra ba shingi. Ya to kungli. Likidi lo shonge de sata. Yes, opposition has come. But I I promised you in my word, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yeah. Weapons may form. They just won't prosper. They may get together, they just won't prosper. I'll stand with you.
As long as you keep me first, I'll prosper you and bless you. And this church will grow. And it'll grow because of the church that's in here, the congregation, the people here. They're going to start inviting others. Because everybody needs a pastor. Everybody needs a home church. It's a place where we can grow and fellowship. And Lord, that's one of the most huge parts of the ministry is fellowshipping with one another, laughing together, sharing life stories. And God, what a great couple you have to love these people on your behalf. I pray over them right now. I set them apart from the world. And Lord, dedicate them and this new building now officially yours. And we dedicate it to you, Lord, that it brings you glory and honor. That's certainly what it wasn't happening before, but today, glory and honor. All to you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Ghost. We love you, Heavenly Father. You're welcome in this place. This place will be a place of prayer, just like you said. And so, Lord, we thank you for the word going forth. And God, you picked the right couple. I'm in full agreement. Now I charge you to be strong and very courageous. Don't listen to the na na and yeah yeah. People like that have no voice except from the devil. If you're around people that love you and encourage you, you'll know they're from God. And you'll have many like that. And this church will grow. <laughs> yes, it will. Yeah, one day they'll be packed all the way out. And Lord, I'm grateful that I'm a part of it. And a part of their lives. And I surrender myself right now to this couple. If they need me for anything, as long as there's breath in this body, I'll be there for them. In Jesus' name of Nazareth and all of God's children, say amen. amen. All right, love you, buddy. Amen. I love you, Miss April. No, you can hold on to it. You'll, we'll find it. If you're wondering, it's 12.25. I went a little over. Does Pastor ever go over a little bit? I'm just asking, am I within my bounds? Or... Y'all yeah, ain't mad at me really. Now, Lord, you want me to say that now? I have assigned an angel to this vision, as I do all of the churches that I birth, saith the Lord. For are there many man-made organizations, and they will fail, and they will fall, and they will have a decaying terrestrial glory. But I called you to do this. And I'm announcing this night that though there have been words spoken in opposition against you, I have raised you up in this hour and I am gathering people to join to what I've told you to do. And an angel is assigned over this ministry as I have assigned helpers, supernatural help, to the canopy of the covering and the provision 
of every minister that I anoint, appoint, call, separate, and assign. I have assigned you to do this task. See to it that you do not pull back at any time due to fear. Walk by faith and I'll make up the difference. I heard that just as clear. I command you to walk by faith. Nothing is impossible to them that believe. Draw not back, turn not to the right or the left. Keep your toes straightly forward and your tongue pointed the right direction and let my word be a beacon in your heart. And as it is, I will release my angels to go into the confession for your future and bring it into your today. So take hold of it, saith the Lord. Call it in, for it is coming now to you. Everything you need. Growth, increase, money, the finishing of this facility. The expansion of your influence. And all I have told you to do, I am helping you, saith the Lord. For there's more with you than there are against you. Cast your care over on me and walk this thing with joy and peace. For the word of the Lord will come to pass more quickly than you have ever dreamed. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Let's just wait on the Lord for a minute.